Another way to extract a certain part of your collection is to filter uh, your large inventory report spreadsheet so that only a certain part of your collection uh, shows up. So if we um, think of filtering by call number perhaps, um, maybe there's a reason you want to pull out only the books in your in the 500s in your in your nonfiction collection for example. So in that case we want to filter by call number. So we need to highlight the call number column and we do that just by clicking on the B at, above the, the word call number and that highlights the entire call number column. Now under the home tab there's a sort and filter option and if I click on the little drop down arrow that will expand the sort and filter menu so that I can just simply choose filter. What this does, it puts a little arrow opposite the call number title heading and that allows me to expand that drop down menu so that I can see all of the different call numbers that, are, that make up my inventory currently. I want to check the select all button because currently they're all selected so they're all showing up but I don't want them all to be selected. I only want to select my the books in my 500 in the 500 range. So I scroll down through my list to until I get to the 500 range and I start checking in each box to indicate that I only want any of the 500 call numbers to show up. So depending on how large your collection is in the 500s in this as is in this example this could take a couple minutes just to just to check off each of the boxes that I want to show up this would be really time consuming to do with some of your larger collections like your easy book because there would be a lot of boxes that would need to be checked and even the 500 so basically I would continue checking all the way down through my 500s until I got to the last to the last one and for the sake of time I won't bother checking them all off for this demonstration but anything with a check mark in front of it is going to be filtered so that it shows up and everything without a check mark won't show up so when I have everything I want selected I click the OK button and there there it is my spreadsheet now only shows those books in my collection with a call number that starts with 5 and I can see down at the bottom might be a little hard for for you to see but it's showing me that after I filtered there's 228 records of a possible 9,689 records that are showing. So the other records are still there I've just hidden them temporarily. So what I might want to do is if I want to keep this list uh, I might want to print it out so that I have a copy. And the easiest way to do that is to save the save the spreadsheet perhaps as a PDF file because PDFs always print out so nicely. Now before I do that um, if I want the grid lines to show up as part of my PDF and by grid lines I mean the the guidelines here on my spreadsheet um, then I have to go to the page layout tab and under the grid lines check off that I want those to print as well. Now I can save it as a PDF by clicking on the Microsoft Office button choosing Save As. From the Save As type I can scroll down through this list until I find the option for PDF. I might want to change the name of the spreadsheet so that it's more reflective of what it actually is that I'm saving. So in this collect, in this instance, it's my 500 collection. So I could just call it 500 collection. I want to choose where I want to save this. So um, on a jump drive, on your G drive, on your desktop, whatever's going to make most sense for you. And then I click on the save button. 
And often if this option is selected, the PDF will open up and, and be displayed in front of you so you can see see what it looks like. And there, there's all my five, just my 500 collection saved as a PDF. Now to get my the rest of my spreadsheet, the rest of my records in my spreadsheet, to get those back, so I'm not just seeing the 500, I simply go back to the filtering button and I click the select all and say OK. And now you can see if I that I'm back <clears throat> to all 9,000 and some odd records.